So there's the scar. Hi and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here, welcome, my name's Simone. Today I'm going to do a video about my xanthalasma. If you've seen my previous video, I'll put a card up above. I did a video a year ago about how I removed my xanthalasma at home with a water pen and that was like over three years ago now. So I had a comment asking me when I removed it and I carried on eating the same way that I was and it looked like some pinpricks were growing around the scar mark whether they went away when I changed my diet it was crazy actually because I was having a look at it this morning to see whether they'd grown back or not and I'm going to insert a clip just to show you what the scar looks like without any makeup on in natural light and hopefully highlight um, that it does look like the pinpricks are there still but they haven't grown since when I removed it over three years ago and to be honest I don't think they're noticeable if anything I think they may have gone down slightly they wasn't raised like the original was, was though and I'll insert some photos anyway if you've not seen my previous video with the photos of the xanthalasma so there's the scar and the pinpricks were around this edge here but I mean I don't think you can see them and can you see the scar is not particularly risen it is a lighter colour but it is easier for me to cover with, cover with makeup and obviously if you're a man like I've probably made it more noticeable now because I was messing with it but to me it's not super noticeable with no makeup on so if you're a man and you're looking to remove it then I'm wondering whether you'll get like similar results to this but I suppose it depends what your complexion is as well but in the summer it can get quite sensitive if I don't put some factor on it and it can make it more I want, I'm trying to think it can just make it a bit red because I suppose it's sensitive to the sun so it can burn it so that's what it looks like from the side and then this side but when I had it I'm not joking it was you could really see it really really see it so I'm happy with what the scar looks like and to me it looks like from a distance you can't really even see it So as you can see now I have got makeup on so this is what it was here if you look you can see a, a scar I have got makeup on though and it is covering it up but that's what it looks like when I've got makeup on and it's covered up and obviously you'll see in the other video that I made what I've inserted what it looks like when I've got no makeup on at all but personally I feel like dealing with this scar is so much easier than when I was dealing with the xanthalasma that was raised because it was really difficult to cover up and I was using makeup that people use for covering tattoos or scars and things like that and it wasn't even doing a very good job of covering it up so I'm happy with what it looks like happy that it's not come back but as I said in my last film if you are thinking about removing it then definitely seek medical advice um, first because you know it is really sensitive around your eyes and someone's put a comment down in the comment section of how um, they had they got they did it and they ended up with like a dint or like a crater in the skin so definitely do lots of research before you go down the route of removing it 
but I really hope that you found this video useful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and I would really really love it if you could subscribe to my channel if you have any questions or anything please leave them below and if you want me to make any more videos on the xanthalasma then I will do thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye